I thought because I know who I am and because I know what I will and won't do in certain spaces, I'm gonna be just fine here. But my spirit really couldn't handle being there. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if this is your first time here. Today, I'm going to be talking about my Coachella experience and why I will never go back in my whole entire life. So last year in 2023, I went to Coachella where the headliners were Frank Ocean, Blackpink, Bad Bunny. I mostly just went because I wanted to see Frank Ocean. And so my sisters and I went and it was for weekend one. Pretty much like a lifelong dream of mine to go. I wanted to go since I was probably 13, 14 years old. We were just really, really excited about it. I had really high hopes. Just one, because, you know, loved Frank Ocean and like high school. And there were a few other artists that I was excited to see. As a believer, I ended up unexpectedly feeling very, very out of place. And like, that was somewhere that it just didn't feel right being there. And I actually have like a lot of reasons why that was. And I wrote them out on my iPad just cause I want to stay focused. So the first thing I would call it is an unsettling experience. There were really, really fun moments where there were a couple artists that we knew some of the songs, but beyond day one, it started to kind of just go on the decline and feel just like it was not a good place to be as a believer. And the biggest thing was the total lack of peace I felt. It could have been like, the huge crowds, it was people constantly just trying to get the right picture, the video, lots of pushing. There was just, it was just like kind of disturbing, a lot of negative, negative energy. And of course, it's like, it's to be expected that there's a lot of like substance use going on. Like, I mean, that's, I guess, just part of what you'll see going there. But because um, I don't drink or smoke or do any of that, so. It just kind of felt, that's just one of the reasons why I felt out of place. And I was expecting it to a degree because I think at any festival that is part of it a little bit, but it was just too like an extreme overwhelming point to the point where even there was a shuttle bus from festival grounds to the hotels. I was there with my sisters and we were just talking about how cold we were and the people like next to us on the bus, they're like, oh, they're like, girl, I can't even tell, you know, we've been on insert substance here since um, yesterday. We can't feel it. We can't feel how cold it is. And I'm telling you, it's like shivering cold. So that's just to put into perspective. The big crowds, just people were constantly pushing us, bumping into us. And so, yeah, that kind of just is, goes into what made me feel out of place. I felt very uncomfortable. And I just kept it to myself. The first day and a half, I didn't tell my sisters that I was with because I was just like, I don't want to ruin their time, their experience. And maybe I'm just paranoid, maybe it's in my head, but um, that was the first thing. I felt a total lack of peace. And that was like an indicator that, you know, maybe I shouldn't be here. Maybe this isn't for me. There were a couple specific things that happened that kind of confirmed that for me. The first thing was that Frank Ocean left like at the beginning of his set, didn't even do what he planned to do. And the crazy part is I wasn't even there to see it. I literally left on day two and I'll get into it later, but we decided to leave after day two and not even go to day three, which is the day that we kind of came there for. But. I'll get into that later, but that was something that let me know that the main person that you went here to see, like he did. So you're one, not even really missing what you came for. Well, technically I did, but he wasn't there. Like whether I had stayed or not, I wasn't gonna see him. Also, there was a lot of symbolism going on. A lot of large statues that on the Catronata stage, for example, there's like this, just this giant head that was there. It made me think of like idol worship and it didn't help that at all the stages people were like lifting up their hands in like positions that are like if you go to church are like worship positions you know that felt a little weird that felt a little uncomfortable just to kind of look around and realize hey i feel out of place and you know we were constantly being like pushed and shoved. Another thing on my list that I talked about was the physical discomfort and logistical part of it, which is it's literally in the desert. 
So it's extremely, extremely hot during the day and then freezing cold at night. As much as I tried to prepare for it with my outfits, I just really, really cold, like shivering cold at night and really hot during the day, like sweating. So then after that, there's just really super long lines to get food, food and water. And I think we only ended up getting food one of the times that we were there. And keep in mind, we had VIP access tickets. So we had access to more like seats and like more like secluded areas. But even within that, there were super, super long lines that were like ridiculous, like wrapped around. And it was basically hard, even with VIP access to get water and food and imagine being in like the hot desert it's just like a lot of walking all day so these are more of like the physical things about it the main thing was just spiritually it felt really off it made me like take a break from secular music for a while because i do i listen to secular music i'm not gonna act like i don't but um i had to take a break because it just felt really off being there as a believer in my spirit it just just didn't sit right with me. And like, we definitely had fun moments, you know, where I think like Burner Boy was there, Becky G, like we had fun at those specific moments. But even then, like we just did not feel peaceful. And so we had some time to reflect on it. And my sisters and I, we talked about it. At the end of day two, we're like, are y'all uncomfortable? They're believers too. And they were just like, I feel really uncomfortable. And I wanna leave. So we literally packed up our stuff and we left. We got out of there and we did not come back and just agreed that, hey, this just didn't feel right. We all just like had this agreement that it did not feel right being there. There was just kind of this internal conflict going on, just, just knowing that there's a lot of things going on that we felt out of alignment with. So yeah, that's my thing. Like, I wish I had seen a video like this because i just want to give my perspective i before i went i saw people warning me about like the some of the things like you can't bring your own like you can't bring your own water in and stuff like that you can't bring your own drinks and so i tried to be as prepared as i could for the desert oh my gosh and also when you're walking around at night the dirt just like flies up so you have to have um you know, like a bandana. So we had bandanas tied around our faces at night. But even with that, like the sand and like the dirt and stuff would like kind of get in your eyes and stuff like that as you walk around. And so um, it just, <laughs> the more I talk about it, I'm remembering, it just was not a, a good place to be for me. And I just, um, we just didn't have peace of mind there. I realized how important it is to align your values with your experiences. I thought, you know, because I know who I am and because I know what I will and won't do in certain spaces, I'm gonna be just fine here. But my spirit really couldn't handle being there. Um, wow, why do I feel like emotional? I didn't, that's weird. <laughs> like, ew, sorry, this is, this is not, I did not think I would feel like this talking about this video, but my, Spirit could not handle being there at Coachella and it wanted me to go. And so I just had to tell my sisters, I was like, we have to go. And so we left on day two. We drove home, we listened to gospel music, we prayed together, we, um, It was like a really good time of reflection for us. We reflected on our relationship with God and just how st staying in alignment is... I'm not gonna keep talking while I'm crying. So just give me a second. Huh. I'm so sorry, that was so dramatic. And it, I can't stop crying. But I did not expect that. I didn't think that, I did not expect that to hit me, but... Um, I just want to reflect about the positive thing that it did for us because um, the desert, because uh, there's like, you know, even negative experiences, you can turn it into something positive. And uh, my sisters and I did some reflection. We're like, what does the, what is the significance of the desert in the Bible? And it often symbolizes a place of testing and can also be a place of like testing and temptation. 
um, like for example in Matthew chapter 4 where Jesus was tempted by the devil and so it's just it can be a place of spiritual testing and like the struggle against temptation but um, it can also be a place of prayer reflection encountering God it was a transformative moment where our eyes were open to just kind of being more intentional or how we should be more intentional about where the places we go as believers as Christians and what environments we put ourselves into and what you're opening up yourself to spiritually you may not even realize what attacks are coming your way what God's protecting you from but if you're in a place where you're not supposed to be it's just like yes we have the protection of God but there are there are certain environments that just aren't good to place yourself in and that proved to be one of those I know people may not agree with me or think I'm being dramatic but I really want to encourage you if you related to anything just to talk in the comments because I really want it to be a conversation about going in certain environments is it that really that deep is it that dramatic to go and do that and I don't know I just think it's an important conversation to talk about and just as believers being intentional, intentional about what environments we put ourselves in but um yeah the, my final thoughts is that um I don't regret going because my eyes were really open and um, but I just wouldn't ever go again and as a believer I personally didn't have a great experience I'm not gonna tell you what to do I don't want to tell anybody what to do but I do want to say it's important to just be mindful of what's around and um, spiritually what you open yourself up to but um, that's all I got Remember to subscribe if you like faith-based content. Thank you so much for watching and listening to this story. I'm sorry for crying. I've never done that on my YouTube channel. That's, um, yeah, that's interesting. But I love you guys. I'm going to leave that in there. And um, would love to hear what you think. And I will see you guys next Wednesday. Bye.